is really, you know, coming out today, and uh, and it just takes some time. So. Now there is a former athlete yourself. How is it that this team came together? And what, what, what kind of special place did that hold for you? Well, I mean, I, again, as I mentioned, you know, this is a this is one of the most selfless teams I've ever been around. Um, genuinely, a joy to be around these kids. Um, they are they're. They, they care about one another, they care about Pitt, um, they're, they're unselfish in their play, um, they're unselfish at the end of the games, at the beginning of the games, and in, in, in warm-ups. Um, it's just a, it's a great group of kids to be around. I'm, I'm really proud of them. I, I hope that they um, recognize um, what an incredible jolt of energy and, and life and pride that they did instill in in our um, in our fan base. And, you know, the fans haven't ever gone away. They, they still watch. Um, and so we're really grateful. I, I just want to say thanks to Panther Nation that came to all of these different games and um, and really came back to support this team. It, it makes a difference, um, and you can see it. You can see it in the games. You know the sound, the loud, the let's go pit cheers, the defense cheers. Um, that matters. That matters to our kids. So I want to say thanks to Panther Nation and all the pan fans that flew and drove and, and came here to be with them. Heather, the phrase was used in the press conference room: "Put Pitt back on the map." Mm -hmm. These seniors, Jamal. Marius and Nelly and Nike and Aiden and Greg, they're leaving some kind of a legacy here. We don't know what it is for the future yet, but how confident are you that this is the start of a new beginning for Pitt basketball? Well, again, I think it started five years ago when Jeff got here. And so this is a culmination of a lot of work, a lot of time, and a lot of right kids in the program at the right time. And I think it will only get better from here. Um, I think Aiden Fish's final shot, I guess it was at the Syracuse game, was a moment that everyone who was in the peat that day will remember because it sort of solidified what this program is all about. And everybody was more excited about Aiden scoring than anyone else, so than Aiden himself. So I, I think that is, you know, that that describes kind of what this team is all about. And um, yeah, no, I'm, I have great expectations as I've always had for Coach Capel, but no one has greater expectations than him himself. So and this entire staff um, that really worked together to, to build this program. Um, you see what's coming back, right? The, the, the twins and Blake, and there's a whole group of people, Fetty getting healthy, um, and uh, there's a lot to build upon. And I think that, you know, it takes a certain level of courage and confidence for coaches to come and build something, and then for players to be a part of something that hasn't been done ever, you know, to win an ACC championship. We left that. That's We, we, we need to do that yet. Um, and, you know, we obviously want to continue going further in the NCAA tournament. So there's a lot to be proven. Um, and uh, I, I'm really confident that this team will continue to get better. The spring sports still to conclude. What's the pride you have in the year that Pitt Athletics has had? Well, uh, Nino bringing home a national championship last night at 197, you know, being undefeated. Um, I couldn't be more proud of him. Um, and the work that he put in with Coach Gavin and, and the whole staff. I told Keith that I was tired of saying you were the last NCAA champion at Pitt. Um, so Nino, Nino took care of that, which is great. And, um, you know, I, I've said all along, I believe in comprehensive excellence and the importance of 19 teams being exceptional. And success is contagious. And I think we are starting to finally uh, get a sense of that. And I think the trajectory of our department is really headed in the right direction with all the right people. And um, I've got a great team. That, that I love working with every day. You talked to Keith, were you there? I was not there, I was here. Okay. Um, I absolutely talked to Keith um, and, and Nino, I texted him last night. And of course, he texted me this morning. I'm really sorry I didn't get back to you last night, Mrs. Heather. Um, uh, I was a little busy, and uh, you know, he said I couldn't be more proud to bring a national championship back to Pittsburgh. And you know, he's a representative of every kid that wrestles in Pittsburgh and in Pennsylvania. Uh, you can win a national championship at Pitt, and that's what we plan to do. Well, I mean, it, it's it, you know, we're we're not anywhere near done. Um, I'll just say that. You know, I don't think it's the beginning because it started five years ago. There was an evolution. There was work that needed to be put in. There was culture that needed to be built. Um, coaches needed to, uh, you know, learn and understand what Pitt and Pittsburgh's all about. But um, this is just the beginning in the sense of where our um, ceiling potentially is. So. Thank you. Yeah, you're welcome.